All right, y'all, here we go again. Back on the Blue 63. I'm gonna do a few things. I'm gonna go ahead and get set up and put the emergency brake cables all the way through. Get all that lined up. Put a set of mirrors on it. A little rough to see with the small back window. Unlike the big back window on my red pickup. I went on and put power steering on it a couple of months ago. Power steering pump, my buddy gave me. Got the bracket and everything. Got it all hooked up. Had to put a different pitman arm on it that come down. There's the box. Cut about two inches off of the steering rod coming down. Welded it all back in. It does real good. So uh, let me go ahead and show you how I'm gonna go ahead and hook these lines up. It's gonna be like from a 66 through 70 something, I guess, the way the cables line up. So let me show you on my red pickup. All right, under the passenger side of the truck, cable goes in right here, hooks to the lever on the brake. Comes down to right here on this bracket, which I got two brackets here that I want to bolt up. Comes in this point. And from here, this cable here goes all the way back around to the other side. Hooks in. I put on the front end. Got a rod right here that goes to the passenger side. It comes around. This one here goes to the lever under the dash. It goes back that way. It tightens it up. And it just makes a loop and comes all the way back around to the other side. When I'll put two eye hooks right here for the cable. They give you some, some kind of little hooks, but I didn't use them. Use my own. Bolt them in to the top. Does a number. Goes all the way back to the other side. All right, here's the cross member that this 63 originally had right here that the brake took to, which I done away with all this when I put automatic transmission in it and the way my exhaust and all this run, so we done away with it. All right, here's some of the parts I got. Here's the brackets that the cable hooks to coming out of the back. I'm running a little different cable from what I run on my red truck. This, these two here come from Napa. There's my line. All this get up here. This one goes to the handle under the dash. Got a rod here that went to the passenger side of the truck that I was telling you about. I got out of the junkyard years ago. A few more little parts. Like I say, I'm not using them. And here we go. Alright, after getting the wheel and the drum off there, we're going to put the new cable through. As you can see right there, the original spot the other one come out of. Hooked it in the back on that lever. Right there, as you can see it moving. So what we're going to do now, I went on and measured. I hooked this top boat right here come where it comes up to the bottom of the spring. I hooked the back of it. Measure 19 and 3 quarters right there. That's where this bracket's going to go. Right there, going that way. New cable hooks into that. Well, as you can see, this was the original setup right here that went through there and hooked in. And that went on that lever in the back. And it come on down. Bolted in there. This one cable that went all the way down and it went to this little lever right here on this side the hook to that cross member I was showing you out there earlier then the other one come off of this side and goes to the passenger side then it done a little number when you pulled that handle in there and tightened up but we're doing away with all that
thứ thứ Okay, everything's hooked in on the driver's side here. Clamped up. Use the original brace there to hold it against the frame. Went on through the back. Got it snapped in back there. Looking good. Everything's tied in on the brakes. I'm going to get my drum. Go ahead and put it back on. Get started on this passenger side. Got a little bit done now. Let's go check it out. Okay, same thing on the passenger side. Got everything hooked in. Went through the back, hooked it up, measured 19 three quarters to the back side of this boat coming down the spring. Right along in there. I'm going to drill it up and mount it. All right, now that I got everything looking good on the back, all the cables coming through, I'm gonna go ahead and start on the main brake cable coming down, get this old one out. That's froze up. Get this handle put in, and get the new one put in. All right, here's the cable I just brought through the firewall. Goes through the side of the frame here, comes out over here. I gotta undo some bolts right here and try to fish it on through here and get rid of it and then put the new one through. Already got the new cable going in. Alright, I pulled the cable on through, made sure I had enough bite, then I tightened it up. Should be good. Gotta get that rubber mount on there, then work my way through the bottom. Alright, after pushing this cable through, had to go on the back side and take them little tabs and bend them over so it'd be good and tight. One locked in at first, then I had to bend the other ones around, so good to go.
Okay, after bringing that cable through, went on, put that piece on there, put the nut on the end of it. The cable will go through the bottom of that, swing back around, catch this one. That's a two foot rod that I got out of the junkyard, I think out of a 65, and I brought it this way. Of course, this piece here comes off and on. That cable is going to slide under there, and that's what keeps all that on. It all tighten up here, swing back around the passenger side come back around the driver's side. I'm gonna drill for my eye bolt right here to hold it in on both sides. Then adjust it all in. All right, here's what I got going on right here. Went three quarters this way, three quarters that way, drilled me a hole. That's going up in there, tighten up. Cable will go through it. I'll do the same thing on the other side. All right, here we go. Everything's looking good. Coming on down. Run the eye hook here, same way on the other side. I still got to tighten this one bolt up right here, leading up to the mercy brake handle. Get the tension right. Going back around. That's a 95 inch cable right here now. The first cable I ordered was like for a long wheel base. I forget the measurement on that, but this one's here is a 95 inch cable. I'm sure there's other routes a man can do, but this is what I did. Works fine on my red pickup, so did the same thing on this one. Let's get these back wheels on. Alright, after getting that one bolt tightened up on the bottom, everything's feeling pretty good. Working real good right there. So I'm going to leave it at that until the next one. I may get these mirrors put on. Y'all take it easy.